I'm Chloe Cho and welcome to Insight. This week we honor Mother Earth as nations across the globe mark World Environment Day. City mayors from around the world recently met in San Francisco, the city where the United Nations was founded in 1945 to discuss the world environment. The result was a series of agreements committing 50 of the world's largest cities from Jakarta to London to improve the conditions of urban centers. Now this will be through better design and more conscious energy and waste reduction. But the effort could go down in history as yet another round of talk and little action. After all, global warming, saving the environment and the Kyoto Protocol to reduce emissions have been talked about for years and yet how far have we come? Let's look in Singapore this week. The little island nation drew up a 10-year green plan in 2002 with the goal of building a sustainable environment. But if you go shopping, which is what Singapore is famous for, chances are you'll contribute to the 40 billion plastic bags consumed each year. It's a typical morning for Ong Lak Yin. As usual, this retiree in his 70s drops by the grocery store to stock up on his daily food supplies and to pick up some breakfast. By then, the couple would have collected at least six pieces of plastic bags from the various stores they visited, and they wouldn't have it any other way. This pair is not alone. Most Singaporeans now cannot live without these ubiquitous plastic bags. For this house proud person, plastics are fantastic. Not surprisingly, Singaporeans are reported to consume up to 40 billion plastic bags a year, which is equivalent to about 1,000 bags per person each year. For a country of just 692.7 square kilometers, the numbers are staggering, especially when compared to the lower consumption in much larger nations like Taiwan and Australia. What we're trying to do is not to eliminate plastic bags from the system. I think that would be unrealistic. But what we're trying to do is to tell people to be conservative in their use of plastic bags. Um, I, I do believe that we use more than we need to. And uh, if we're all just a bit more careful, we can cut our usage. Many don't see why the excessive use of plastic bags can be a problem, but they can be whether they are incinerated in plants or end up buried in landfills. One of the biggest problems is uh, plastic bags ending up in the wrong place as litter. Um, plastic being a non-biodegradable uh, material, uh, what doesn't end up in the proper waste stream will probably end up in our waterways, which serves a large amount of our, of our water catchment these days, or end up even worse in, in the sea. Uh, personally, I'm a diver, and I've, I've actually dived uh, off the Straits of uh, Johor, and uh, there is another sea of plastic bags below the sea surface. So around the world, there is now a war against the humble plastic bag, which has become a menace. South Africa banned its use two years ago. Kenya has a plastic bag ban and a levy on plastics. Now South Australia, too, is said to ban plastic bags from January 2008. In Singapore, the battle is still being fought. In 2002, the local environment agency, NEA, along with the Singapore Environment Council and 11 retailers mounted a national project to reduce the use of plastic bags. Unfortunately, that program didn't work too well. Um, uh, all, quite honestly, it, it was actually the checkout ladies were the ones that we had to probably educate with the help of the retailer uh, because we, we had the poster there and we, we still got people double bagging, triple bagging. So while this French supermarket chain trains its staff on the best way to pack items in a bag to reduce wastage, it also trains its staff to spread the word. 
Thailand on this coming as a customer? We don't say that it will be totally uh, no uh, plastic bag, but we said to reduce the plastic bag. We give the, the customers, but we said let's reduce it. Uh, sometimes, basically, um, some customers want it for their certain home users. Yeah, and um, their reaction will be like, some will be very receptive and encourages us to do um, so by mixing certain bags into the, uh, certain items into the same bag and others will react rather strongly. For those who want a bag or two or three, the supermarket doesn't fret too much. That's because it has invested in biodegradable bags. It may cost the company more, but it is all in line with the main corporate directive from Europe. There is a strong movement towards green consumerism. For those who do want to give up the plastic dependency, the supermarket has introduced these cotton trolley bags. I actually chose to start using the cotton trolley bag um, because basically I believe in practicing what I preach. I'm also, I guess, a little bit idealistic, optimistic perhaps, um, but I do believe that many great changes are the sum of small efforts. And this is a small effort I feel that I can make um, as an individual and, uh, well, I hope that others will join me. But will the concept of BYOB, bring your own bag, take off? This Singapore supermarket chain, which has a larger market share, is certainly optimistic. They have also started offering reusable bags to their customers. It's kind of like convenient because it's pretty big, but if, let's say, we are really going to buy, like, let's say, um, double this amount, I don't think it's going to be enough. So the best way for me to, to use it is to leave it in my car so that I won't forget. <laughs> Beyond the initiatives from the retailers, it really depends on the shoppers and their decision to want to change their shopping habits. Perhaps that could happen if shoppers feel the pinch, like in some countries where retailers don't hand out bags for free. We had a, a lengthy discussion between uh, our managements and so on. And uh, it's a matter of whether is the public ready to accept it. Those who are up to meeting the green challenge say going cold turkey on plastic bags with legislation and disincentives may not be the right move. But with education and awareness taking the first step may not be too hard. You go to a, a convenience store um, or, or, or a petrol station and you buy, for example, parking coupons or a can of drink um, and you are just about to carry this back to your car. You know, and they will give you a plastic bag automatically. Uh, I think on the part of the, of the retailer, maybe if we should train staff to say, do you need a bag? Something as simple as that. And on the part of the consumer saying, oh, I don't need a bag for that. So stop, look, and use just what you need. The green revolution, it seems, can start with just one person and one less plastic bag. According to a website which tracks the use of plastic bags daily, the world has already consumed more than 213 billion plastic bags since January this year. In fact, environmentalists say that at the rate people use and throw away things, we need two extra planets to meet all our demands. So is a green future a lost cause? Meet the recyclers and green car road users and then decide. Those reports coming up in just a while.